Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bagherwal. Welcome to Salesforce CPQ series. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the price waterfall in CPQ. So there are many things that affects the price. So in this uh, video, I'm going to explain you what things are affecting the price and what is the resultant price. So here you can see the uh, price waterfall. Uh, there are several pricing fields and what every field represents. So initial field is original price and original price is nothing but the price book price which you have. Uh, if you have not added any new price book then it would be your standard price book. Then next is list price. So list price is nothing but the price book price and if you have configured block price or percent of total price or option price override then the resultant price would be list price. Okay. The next is special price. A special price is nothing but the cost plus markup price or contracted price or if you have applied the option discount. The next is regular price. Regular price is the resultant of volume based discount. If you have configured volume based discount, then your resultant price would be regular price. Then if you have provided manually discounts, which we have seen additional discount directly provided by the sales representative, then your resultant price would be customer price. If you have provided partner discount as we have seen on the court level or any uh, like if you have not any other thing just the partner discount and the resultant of the price after partner discount would be partner price and similarly if you have applied distributor discount then the resultant price would be net price okay so uh, how these price works so it starts from the original price and let's say if you have if you have provided all these things like you have done the block pricing also you have done the contracted price you have done volume based discount as well manually discount you have provided partner discount distributor discount so all these price are prices are going to be calculated in a stepwise manner okay first let's say your original price is price book price is 100 then based on your block price your price has come to the 80 that's your list price okay then you have applied contracted price then price has become 70 that would be your special price and let's say uh, based on volume based discount the price has become the 60 that would be your regular price and let's say after menu menu uh, manual discount you have given for 10 then your customer price would be 50 and let's say you have given partner discount of 10 then your partner price would be 40 and if you have given distributor discount as well on 10 then your net price would be 30 so starting from 100 dollar you are basically selling a product on 30 as a net price so that happens when you have included each one of these steps so my point was uh, explaining this that these prices work in a like hierarchy manner so from beginning from the original price and ending in the net price so that was all about this video if you like it please like it on comment on it for more please subscribe my channel as abhishek bagherwal thank you